hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i've got a completely different style of video i really want to start meal prepping and i thought why not meal prep record the process and also share with you a few steps that i took to help break out of the payday cycle so yeah in this video today you're gonna see me chop up some veg i haven't got much in the house right now i've recently swapped from online shopping online deliveries to shopping in the supermarket just chopping up what i've got in the house because it's going to be handy anyway for the next few meals quick disclaimer i'm not a chef i'm not an amazing uh, cook or anything like that so one of the reasons why I started my debt free journey and why I started documenting my finances online was because I was stuck in that typical payday cycle. I always looked forward to payday and would treat myself every payday and get all the things that I wanted to get but then towards the end of the month I would struggle to get by and I really wanted to break out of that and initially i thought i would have to clear the debt to then realize that i didn't realize that whilst i was on my debt-free journey i was able to experience it so much earlier and there's been so many benefits to it i don't feel that dread every time i check my bank balance or wish or pray that there's enough money in the account there's none of that if anything it's the complete opposite if an unexpected expense pops up or maybe the car repairs a lot more than i thought it would be i've got it covered and i've got savings there and it's just so much more easier so i thought i'd share with you three tips that really helped me break out of the payday cycle and really enjoy each month from the 1st to the 31st and not noticing the difference the first tip is to break my spending pots into weekly amounts so every month when i create a budget i have items in items in there such as a treats budget let's say that was roughly around 100 pounds uh, but what I found was that payday would arrive and then I would have permission to buy all the things that I wanted to buy. But then literally a week later, I ran out of money. And so I realised that there was a real problem with pacing myself. So what I decided to do was deciding to break that monthly figure into a weekly figure made all the difference and all of a sudden i found my money was lasting much longer so i had the 100 pounds treat fund and then if there was four weeks in the month i'd just split that by 25 and to be honest i still do that now despite being on maternity leave instead i do it for items such as my groceries my groceries is usually 200 pound budget but i now split that into roughly a 50 pound budget depending how many weeks there are Tip number two is to check in on your finances on a weekly basis. So I like to call this a weekly spending review. However, recently I've changed this to a weekly finance review because my finances have changed in the last year. I found myself being really focused on other goals such as debt and saving. And I felt that with my spending review, it was a bit negative in the sense of it was so focused on everything that I'd already spent that I could no longer do anything about. So making it a general weekly finance review makes everything much more motivating and exciting because that way I'm also focusing on the future such as the, the fact that my savings are growing, especially when I'm doing weekly challenges such as the uh, FMF Christmas Savings Challenge. So checking in on your budget and what I like to do is schedule it in each week and just give, just make it very simple. It could be if I'm really busy, it's just like literally a minute. But if I've got a bit of time, it's, the, it's five minutes. During this time, I'll look at my budget and see if it's realistic and if I can really get by for the rest of the month. If I feel that I can't get by, then I'll readjust the budget. It also gives me the chance to look at my tracking and just see what I spent my money on and if I'm noticing any patterns like, am I starting to fall into the habit of popping into the shop all the time? If so, then I can set myself a challenge to not pop into the shop. And then finally, the last tip is to track your spending. Honestly, this has worked wonders for me. I really do notice a link between the days where I track my spending first thing in the morning and the days where I don't actually track my spending until later on in the night or a few days later. So tracking your spending can really help because it gives you the chance to review each purchase and then question whether it was an impulse buy and then you can also learn about your spending habits and then adjust your budget so that you have more success. Thanks so much for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.
Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down <laughs>